guys. <laughs> I'm videoing this in case it's of interest to anybody. It's a bit different uh, <laughs> from the usual. Uh, yesterday I was checking something on the mill and when I need to be hyper accurate I use, uh, particularly on the y-axis, I use uh, indicators. Uh, but I thought, oh, I better check something on here because uh, a couple of things in the past had made me slightly suspicious and I'd never looked into it. So, the table moves as you would expect according to the graduated um, collar. Yeah, I'm trying to think of the right name for it. The graduated scale. Let's call it that. I don't know. Soft brain today. So one rotation and it moves a hundred thou, all right? These are not graduated in thou, they're graduated in two thou increments, but that's quite adequate for a lot of purposes. But the y-axis, that was what I was thinking I better check properly. And when I came to check it, <laughs> I found it's not doing what it should. This has also got a, the, sa the same scale. It's graduated in 2 thou, so one revolution sh should give 100 thou. So, let me show you what happens with my dial indicator, or dial indicators. I'm comparing a metric and an imperial, uh, inch one. Okay. Now the camera is really perched. We may even get movement and wobble. Look at the two dial indicators if the reflection isn't too bad, set to zero, set to zero, yeah almost exactly. Now watch what happens when I go one full rotation. You see we're coming round towards zero and we're coming up to zero about there, best I can judge it. So what do you notice? Oh, that's gone just past zero. I must have just gone, hang on, let me just get that to zero. It's close enough. So we've done two revolutions on the uh, metric, which is 200 times 0 0.01. And we're actually showing on the inch one, it's actually just under 79. And if you do the math, if you multiply the 200 indications on here times 2.54, you should get 78.8 or something of that sort, nearly 79. That is what we've got. So I'm going to come back the way I oops, come back the way I came, come back to zero. Not a hundred thou. Just nearly 79. So arguably I should have checked that long ago. But <laughs> because I haven't relied on the scale much for the uh, y-axis, and as I say generally I've got an indicator tucked on the back, um, I hadn't really noticed the discrepancy. So I thought, well, <laughs> we're getting inch on the uh, x and we're getting metric on the Y, which uh, is not really what I want. So I spoke to Grizzly today and uh, their customer service is very good, very pleasant people. And uh, although the guy initially I don't think believed it, and it took a bit of explaining to make sure he got the, uh, you know, the details, but uh, he went off, he said hang on a minute, so he went off and spoke to uh, associates I guess and he came back and he said oh yeah is this there are two instances where this has happened before so long story short uh, he's going to send me a lead screw and nut which means I've got the great fun of tearing things down to uh, install <laughs> and at the moment um, you won't see it you won't see it on here but there are two Somebody else with a grizzly will probably know, but there are two screws there. I can't for the life of me think exactly what they do. Um, so I've, I've taken a photograph and 
put some arrows on it and sent the uh, picture to the to the same guy by the email uh, or somebody else who can help just to identify the screw's function before I actually pull things apart. So that's some fun in store. Uh, whether that precedes the next ball turning exercise or not, I don't know. But uh, I'll probably video the uh, replacement lead screw and nut process in case it's of interest. And I should probably get my dear wife to help me lift the table off when I've got that detached. After that it's a case of get it all set up again, get the Gibbs set and uh, set the backlash on the Y and see where we go from there. It's annoying but it's hardly the sort of situation where you can pack the thing up and send it back and get another. In other respects I'm very pleased with it for my modest requirements, it does okay. So anyway, as the saying goes, uh, at some point, I don't know when, watch this space. <laughs> we take it to pieces. <laughs> Alright, anyway, thanks for watching. <laughs>